In today's video, we will talk about how to make sure that our reports are colorblind people friendly. Now, before we get too far, I have to admit that I am in no way an expert on this topic. I do not have a formal graphics design experience. And to be quite frank, up until very recently, I was very blind towards this issue altogether. So only recently did I start paying attention and kind of realize that picking right colors for your reports and dashboards is kind of a big deal. And what I wanted to do is go back to some of the things I've created before and see uh, if I did a good or bad job picking the colors for my visualizations. In this video, I will suggest a couple of tools that you might use to quickly check whether your color choices are good and see what the colorblind see, colorblind people see when they look into your charts and reports. So to test something for colorblind, uh, I'm gonna use my COVID-19 dashboard that I created over a year ago, no, about a year ago. And uh, literally I created this because I was not very happy with what was available publicly. And this is tailored for the type of analysis that I wanted to do for myself. But I thought that I had a couple of interesting ideas with colors that I used here that uh, at the time I thought were pretty cool. Let's see if those ideas are tested when we look at them through the colorblind lens. So if you are not colorblind like me, then you will see a bunch of different colors that are used in this dashboard. Number one is we have conditional formatting here on this map. The other cool thing that I thought I would do is I would create this color uh, heat map of sorts where uh, I'm looking at the overall trend of COVID over the last several days. And then if it's uh, declining, I would color it in green. If it's not growing too fast, I would color it in yellow. And if it's growing very fast, I would color it in red. And uh, this bar here, if you're not colorblind, then you can see that this is in green right now. And I thought it would be very helpful to quickly see if things are getting uh, better or worse over time. I will post a link to this dashboard as well as the links to the tools I will be using to do the test colorblind checks uh, in the description of this video. So the first thing that I wanted to do was to take the entire dashboard and see or the report and see what that would look like for the colorblind person. Now there is a variety of types of colorblind. Again, I'm in no way an expert. So I just wanted to see if there are any tools I could apply to this and get some idea of how well this is designed, how sensitive it is for people with colorblind issues. So the first tool that I found was this uh, site called toptail.com. And again, I will provide the link in the description of this video. And it's pretty cool. So what you could do here is by default, it loads a, uh, a link here and you could see what color not blind people see. And then this is what color blind people see. So you can kind of compare and contrast the picture on the left and picture on the right. And you can also paste your custom link and then uh, this website will take a snapshot of that link and show you before and after normal and colorblind views of that, of that page. So one of the things you can do in Power BI is take your report, publish it for web, take that public link, paste it in here, and then see what the result would be. So let me do just that. Now, once you paste that link and click fetch and filter, this will actually take a little bit of time, but through the magic of editing, we could take the wait time out and just take a look at the final result. So what this tool does, it takes a snapshot of that visualization here of our report, and then gives us a variety of ways to take a look at what the colorblind people see. So we have different options here. We could select different filters and then see if our color options are any good. And I could definitely see that I should be very humbled with my choices. I did not do a good job on my color selection. So for example, here uh, you could see that my cool trick with having a heat map completely failed. You cannot see whether this is good or bad. If I pick, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to butcher these names, Protonopola, 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 then um, there is a little bit of uh, colors here, but basically my color choices are not very good. So when we do, uh, number one, this dashboard is not good for colorblind people, period, because it's very busy. There's a lot of stuff going on. I built it for myself, so there's some excuse because it, it had to serve a very specific function. But generally, uh, for people who have issues with colors, this is too busy, not a lot of contrast, hard to understand what's going on. I did a very poor job with my colors and the cool things with the heat map is a complete fail. Now, 
This is a cool idea if you just want to take the whole report and render it and test. Two problems. Number one is you have to have published your report for web and some companies actually disable that feature. So you may not even be able to do it. And problem number two, uh, it does a snapshot of the whole page. So it does not allow you to zero in on particular elements of the page. So this tool is, is a good, is a very good uh, tool to kind of get an idea of how high level well your colors work. In my case, they absolutely do not work. Uh, we needed to find a better tool where we can uh, take our dashboards into different parts and analyze each part at a time. So let's take a look how we can do that. So here I found another tool. The link to that is hclwizard.org slash cvdemulator. And again, all of these links will be in the description of the video. And what this allows me to do, it allows me to take a an individual image, upload it here and analyze that image. So what do I do? I take, I go to my dashboard, and then I could find the part of the dashboard that I really want to analyze. Then you could snip, take a, you know, take a snapshot of a part of it. So you can use either snip tools in Windows. I use GreenShot, which is a an open source tool that's that works really really well for uh, taking a snapshot of your picture. And I'm gonna load a couple of those pictures, and we can analyze them together. So the way this works, you click on this browse thing here, navigate to the file to the picture you'd like to upload and then go through the steps. So once it's uploaded, you can see the picture here. That's what it looks like by default. And then we can take a look at all these different options and see how well that works. So see, this one is undesaturated. You could see that my positives or negatives to colorblind people look exactly the same. Go to the next option. This is um, for 6% of male, 0.4% of female. Again, green and red look virtually indistinguishable. Uh, here you could kind of see that this is uh, a little bit less dark than uh, than here, but again, my color choices are very bad. Now, quick segue. So what can we do, right? So uh, to make this easier, one of the options is maybe different types of shading. The produce maybe uh, here have uh, some sort of lines. So there's different ways we could do to help people with color blindness, make it easier to distinguish uh, one element of the chart from another. So there's a bunch of different things we could do. That's not what this video is about, but uh, it's kind of cool how we can use these tools and test whether our color options make sense or don't make sense. I think this is a common courtesy we owe to, to the people who have challenges with distinguishing colors, and I'm glad that we could do it using these tools. So let's uh, click on some other options. Um, and we can see that for some people, my color options were going to be OK. For others, are completely unacceptable. So let's load a couple more just for fun and see what they look like. So here I loaded my map where I have a bunch of different states color coded from green to red on how well they're doing with respect to new cases. And then you could see that for the desaturated, all those colors are completely meaningless. For this one, I guess you could kind of see a little bit of differentiation, but again, it's hard to know to, to, to distinguish good from bad. Uh, for this use case, I, I think it's going to be a little bit easier. And here in this one, you can kind of see a little bit better. But people who have a problem, this problem due to run nope, uh, they're going to have a really, really hard time figuring out. So basically, my color, uh, my color scheme was completely fail, failed, not a good one. So on this chart, I'm trying to compare and contrast overall deaths versus the COVID-19 deaths. And I'm using different colors, blue for COVID deaths, gray for deaths before 2020 and pink for 2020 deaths. Let's see how well the color scheme works in this case. So let's go to desaturated. Um, as you can see, hot mess, hard to understand what's going on. Here, actually the blue and Gray provide a little bit of a contrast, but within the years, it's hard to know what year it is. So we're losing some of that. Same goes for this color scheme or this filter. And in, with this situation, pinks are actually a little bit more saturated. The greens are saturated. And then, so this, you know, people with this condition actually will be able to, to see the colors much better. So to summarize, up until very recently, I was completely oblivious to this whole problem of thinking through the colors and making my reports and dashboards friendly for people with color blindness. 
I cannot say that I know exactly how to solve it. Uh, I'm not an expert by any means, but if nothing else, the least I can do is to take my reports, take my charts, test them in these tools. Again, the links will be in the description and at least check whether what I'm doing is friendly or not friendly. And uh, that puts me on the path of learning more and figuring out how to use colors, how to use shadings and other techniques to make my designs more color blind friendly. Now I know I only listed a couple of tools that I'm using to solve this problem. You probably use some other tools that might be even better. So if you do, please uh, share those links in the, in the comments. I'm really looking forward to get smarter around this topic. So anything that you guys know that can help me and the community to get smarter around uh, building more colorblind friendly reports, I would much appreciate it. Thank you for stopping by and I hope to see you back soon. Bye.